Welcome back middle school for art class. My name is Mrs. Gerudi. You can call me Mrs. J if that's easier, but I'm so excited to have you this school year for art. I'm going to walk you through in this video pretty much any questions that you might have for our art class, how it's set up, how to turn in assignments, where to find things, and if you have any questions though, I'm only a phone call or email away. I'll display both on the screen right now. Make sure you reach out if you have any questions, no matter how little or big the questions are, I'm here to help you. But this is really an important video for you to watch all the way through because I'm literally going to walk you through how our class is set up so there might be some important things that you don't want to miss. Again, I'm so excited to have you for our class this year. I look forward to a year of creating art, learning about art history, and really building a community of artists in our school. So again, I'm very excited to have you and I'm looking forward to a fantastic year, but make sure you watch this video all the way till the end because we're going to switch over to show you what our Blackboard art class looks like. And our Blackboard art class is really the heart of our art class. This is where you're going to need to find assignments, turn assignments in, and reach out to me if you need anything. So you really want to become familiar with how our art class is set up first thing in the school year. I'll see you guys very soon um, for our first art lesson, but right now we're going to walk through our Blackboard classroom, so stay tuned until the end. Okay, so this is our Blackboard art classroom, and this is pretty much the most important um, page that you check out weekly for what's going on in art. So I'm going to walk you through what every tab means, where to find things, and so this video is very important for you to listen to. Um, on the left hand side, you'll see that there are a bunch of different folders. Um, the first one is announcements. So this will be if I post anything like um, office hours might get canceled or if I remind you of anything, it usually will be in the announcement page and that's the first link. The second page is teacher information. So go ahead and click on that. And in teacher information, this is where you're going to find my email, my work phone, my office location, and office hours. Our office hours are every Monday, 2.30 to 3.10. But if you can't make Mondays or if something happens and you can't meet me, you can always send me an email or a phone call and we can schedule just a personal office hours meeting um, outside of this. But every Monday you'll find me during this time in our office hours. Um, and you're going to wonder, where are your office hours? Uh, I put a little link right here, but you can go to Collaborate on the left-hand side, and in there you'll see a page. We'll get to that in one minute, but that's where you're going to find office hours. Moving down to the syllabus and information, this is pretty much a little outline of how our art class is set up. You do get a get a letter grade this year for art. It's not pass or fail. You get um, an actual A, B, C, D, or F in art class. So that's really important to know. So our grading scale is here. Also, our class outline is here. So if you're curious on what topics we're gonna be learning about in which week, that's a great Google Docs to download. But just make sure you're reading through the syllabus. It's just important to know um, different information here that I have set up for you. I also have, again, some contact information at the top. All right, and now the next one is called plans and assignments. This is this might be the most important folder for you to check out. This is where you're gonna check every week, what do I do for art class? So you'll see that our weekly folders are, are set out to be week one, week two, and it has the dates of the weeks. Um, this is where you go every Monday to see what you have to do for art. So just to show you an example in week one, you'll click on that folder and you'll see um, a different, a couple different files in here. And you'll see that there's like an orientation art class, this welcome video that you found by clicking this folder. Um, the first assignment is in here, so you'll see different assignments. This is an essay, and I'll go over that um, at the end of this video, but how do we do, what do we do for that essay? But you'll see that there's You'll see for the essays, there's nothing to click on, that it's just a file. You actually have to go to a different page that I'll explain in a minute where you go to put essays up. Um, but you'll see lots of things. So there's a lot of different questions and answers for this week. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that there is a weekly checklist. So I try to put a weekly checklist so that way you guys can go through and know what you should do for each week. Okay. 
So every week you can do the weekly folder. Um, there's due dates. So for example, the first assignment is due by the 9th on, by 4 p.m. So there are always due dates. So that's the things to be watching out every week. This is an asynchronous class, which means that we do not meet every week for art class, that you have the week to get it done on your own time. So if Mondays work best or Fridays work best or you want to plan it around your schedule, you can as long as you're turning in assignments by the due date. You don't want to get behind in this class. Um, so that's the most important thing is to make sure you're getting things done by the due date. But if you'd like to work ahead, I'm going to do my best to have everything up pretty much a month prior. So if you, let's say you did week one and you have you had some free time in another class and you wanted to do week two, you could click on that and you could go to week two. So week two, you'll see there's already um, information. There's a PowerPoint, a reading assignment, a little art video, and then there's the first art assignment. So I'll get to, into that of how you do art, your art assignments and you'll find in this weekly folder for week one, there's a couple videos for you to watch. I would suggest head over and watch how do I turn in art projects, um, but you'll see that you can do that as well. So if you want to work ahead, you can. That's also an option. Um, I will have in the weekly plans and folders assignment, if you go back to that, it'll say the title of what we're learning for the week. And then if I'm not ahead, it'll say will be available. So for example, week three is not available until the sixth. So you'd come back on the sixth if you wanted to work on week, th week three or after the sixth if you're working ahead. They'll always be up by the dates of the week, but I'm going to do my best to be a couple weeks ahead if you want to work ahead in this class. Um, but that's the weekly plans and assignments folder. So what do you do every week? You click on the folder and you complete what's in that weekly plans and assignments folder and then that's it for art class. If you go through the checklist at the bottom of each folder and you've done everything, you're set for art class for that week and um, you can you know, move to the next week if you want to work ahead or you're done for the week for art. So collaborate is the next link and this is where we put our office hours. You'll see there's two rooms in here. There's this Intermediate World Art 1 room and then there's Miss Judy's office hours. You always want to pick the office hours room. Um, I'm not usually in this Intermediate World Art 1 class so make sure you're just picking the office hours room. If you're in the, the World Art 1 class you might not see anyone else in there so just double check that when you're coming but um, generally we're always going to be in this office hours room. Okay, the next one is art essays. So anytime we have an essay for art class, which there are three ways you get a grade for art class. You get a grade in um, writing essays, you get a grade in art projects, which are drawings that we turn in, and you get a grade for tests. So we'll go over how to do each one, and you'll see in this weekly assignment folder for week one, I made a video on each. But just quickly to go over this is that the essays are in this, this art essay folder. So anytime you see an essay due, you have to come to this folder and you have to click on it. So this is where you're going to go for your art essay. You'll see that the topic is always clickable and then you'll see the description. So you have a couple things to answer here for this first week, but you're going to hover over it and click it. And then up here you'll see that you can create a thread. This will let you turn in your assignment. So you can name your subject, you can name it your name or essay one. You can write the information in this message form. You can, you can even write it in a Word document and attach the file if you'd like. And then you hit this green button to submit. That's how you turn in an essay for this class. You always create a thread and then again, right here's the description on what to write about. Really simple. Um, Moving down to class gallery, this is where we're going to post a lot of our art projects that we've done in our class so we can share with each other and check out what everyone's done. That'll be coming soon once we've done our first art project for the school year. Uh, new to this art class is a great video. You'll, you'll find that this video is in here um, and it kind of explains how to do if you, let's say you start, you're a new student, but you start in October or you start in December. You don't start right at the beginning of the school year. That's why this folder is here, just to help our new students out on to figure out where to start, what to do, and just to get familiar with art class like we're doing right now.
And then Art Club is the next folder. Um, we're starting an art club this year and we're going to do it kindergarten through our 12th graders. So if you're interested in helping us start our art club, I'm looking for anywhere from three to five students in middle school to help me run the club. Um, so you can send me an email here if you're interested in that, but that's totally optional. And if you're interested in coming to Art Club, um, make sure you just check back at this page. I'll post any information on our Art Club, like when we're meeting or anything about that, um, in, on this page. So that's just extra. The last final really important button is this one right here under grade book. You'll see my class grades. This is where you're going to check your grades. For art class so for example um, you've turned in something but you don't know what your grade is or you're unsure if you've turned in an assignment you can come here and check or maybe you're unsure what all needs to be done let's say you missed a week and you're not sure on what you need to do always click this my class grades it'll pull up it'll show you all the assignments we've had due the total points of the assignments and then you'll see that your grades in here if it's completed so this is a really great page to check where you stand in art so right now you can see that there's an essay one due and then there's the about me drawing assignment those are week one and week two. You'll see the due dates on when they're due. That's currently what we have set up for our class today. Um, and then once you turn them in, you'd see them graded. So this is really important for you to check where you are in our class. I shouldn't be getting any emails about what's my grade in art because you guys can check this on your own. And that's pretty much it. Um, real quick, I will go over the OLS. So the OLS is the online school. You do have an art class in your OLS. The only thing we're doing in the OLS this year is using that for a reading assignment. So you're just Anytime you see in the plans and assignments folder, it say you have a reading assignment in the online school or OLS. That's when you'll go over to that OLS and you'll do the reading assignment and come back to Blackboard. You'll notice that there are like art projects and tests in the online school. You do not have to do those. Anytime you do an assignment for a grade, you're turning it into Blackboard only. That's where your grade is generated from. Um, anything We're not doing anything in the online online school besides doing a reading assignments and coming back into a blackboard and if you have questions about the online school or or different things make sure you email or give my phone number a call so we can go over it and make sure you're on the same page for your grade for art class and that's pretty much it um, it's very simple Make sure you watch the rest of the videos that were in this week one folder because I think it's really important for you to find out how you turn in art projects, how you, again, I'll go over how you check your grade, um, how you turn in essays, and how you turn do tests. It's really important that you know how to navigate your art classroom even before you start doing anything so we're all on the same page. And if you don't know if you don't know what to do or you have a question, make sure you email me so we can get you on, on track. Um, again, I just want to welcome you to art class. I'm looking forward to a wonderful school year, and I'm very excited to have you. Real quick, this is an asynchronous class, which means that you can do art class whenever you like. You have it built into your schedule, so you do have time set aside to work on art, but it's really your responsibility to do whatever's in that weekly folder before the due date is up. So, you know, you don't want to do art class all at once. You want to make sure that you're doing it week by week so that you can stay on track, not get too far behind, um, and we can keep you moving forward in art class you know, an appropriate speed. We don't want you to have so much work that you're overwhelmed and we want you to be doing it every week. So. We're not going to be meeting for a class. Um, I'll have office hours if you have questions, but this is really up to you to make sure you're staying on track and doing everything by the due date. So that's really what I really care about is that you're turning things in before or on the due date. Again, welcome to art class. I'm looking so much forward to having you, and I will see you guys in the next video.